Mm. Hello everybody, my name is Evro, and today I have a new agent mod that I want to share with you all, and it is the Perimeter Builder. Now, this was not too hard to make, it's one of the less challenges, whereas the first two episodes, the Auto Miner and the World Edit were pretty hard to make. This one was easy, and... So, yeah, it was pretty easy to make. So, I have a I have a village right here. Um and I just marked this little pillar so that I know where to start. No so that I know where to start. Um and so basically, I'll open code builder. And then if you do not already know how to import agent mods, go to my um pretty yeah, it's the video called How to Import Agent Mods, and it's, um, Agent Mods Episode 4. Yeah, Agent Mods Episode 4. And it'll tell you, like, how to import this program and other programs, um, and Agent Mods that I put on my channel. Um, so, this is the program right here. Um, so, right here I have my agent... So if I do, if I put into chat perimeter, and then I'll do 50. It makes a perim, it, it's going to start making a perimeter with a radius of 50. Now let's see, where did my agent, up, oh, oh wow, that's really far away. Maybe 50 was too much. Eh. It'll probably be fine. Yeah, so it's gonna, it's up there, and I have it positioned so that it blows up the the right amount of um like the uh, uh, the right amount from uh above where it's supposed to be. And then basically, every time it makes a lap through, actually I'm just gonna shorten that to 25. Hmm, I got one of these. Okay. Um. So. If I, I'll just press C to stop it. Then you can... Um, fun fact, actually, you can either press this or the X up here to s run the program. Um, so I'll do... Instead of perimeter 50, I'll do 20. Just for time's sake. Yeah, here it is. Uh, sorry, villagers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's basically up here going around. Yeah, so basically my agent is up here going around and moving and placing TNT. Oh man, this villager is lucky. His house doesn't get exploded. I mean, half of it did, but his bed doesn't. Wait, was that the villager that used to live in there? Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That looks cool. <laughs> huh. Yeah, and so, uh... Um... Let's see, I'll get in a good... Position. Oh, and also, if you don't know how to uh, turn off the GUI, all you have to do is um, hold. The, if you have an FN key um, near your Control Windows and Alt keys, then pr uh, basically, if you wait, no, oops. Um, if you press FN, or if you hold it down and then press F1, then it will um, turn off the GUI on Minecraft. Just a little fun fact. So. I'll just be right here, letting it go. Okay, and I'll see you guys once it's at least, uh, I'll check in once it's um, at least done one layer. Um, hmm, that's gonna take, it might take a while. Um, oh yeah, that's one, that's another thing to note about this, um, 
about this agent mod. It takes a long time. Also, the reason I uh, the reason I made this mod um, was because I kind of wanted to make a witch farm. And if you've ever watched Mumbo Jumbo's um, Hermitcraft series, um, then you'll know that he cleared out an entire perimeter using TNT duplicators, which don't work in Bedrock Edition and Education Edition and all that. So I made an agent mod for this, and it does the job. Um, but it's about, um, it's much slower, I'll just say that. So, now I'll start the, uh, time lapse. Okay, so now it is done with the first layer, um, as, and as you can see, it's going back, back again, this time just, it went down, my agent went down two blocks, oh no, that villager, no, he died, okay, um, I should probably clear this water, that would probably, that would be a smart choice. Let's see. Okay, there. Okay. Yes, and here's some water too. Water damage. Hey, it's close. Ah! Oh, geez, what was that sound that I made? And also, I saw that it could not destroy these. Is the uh, <laughs> like literally these are just here and then like what? Also, there was some weird Z or some weird axis. What the? Uh, help. Um, <laughs> bug. Um. If you're under a waterlogged stair, it thinks you're in the water. Hmm. That could be a... Hmm. I don't see any good use for it, though. Anyway, um, yeah, gonna keep making its way around, um, until it's all done. Um, I just kind of missed a few blocks right here. It'll... Uh, you can just destroy those, um, in, but if in, but if you're in survival, then you'll have to build up to it. Obviously. Um, so um, I will. I'll come back when this is done. 
Um, I don't have time to do a time lapse of the entire thing. Already, even with the time lapse untime lapsed, like even as like as long as it is, m my video is already 26 minutes long. But w the time lapse should help that and reduce it down to like five minutes. Um. So yeah, um, I'll catch you guys when this is done, all the way down to bedrock. Okay, so now it has reached a uh, Y level three bedrock. It's just starting on that path now. Um, and so as you can see, it dug a pretty deep hole. And now my agent's all the way. My agent is all the way down here. Um, I changed the code a little bit so that the process was sped up. Um, because what it was doing, it was it was waiting five seconds, to, or no, it, it was waiting two seconds to drop the TNT. Now I have it waiting no seconds. The reason I had it uh, waiting two seconds was um, so that the TNT wouldn't explode itself, but then or wouldn't explode other TNT and just send it blasting off. So I made some changes, and um, it turns out that you can actually have no delay in between. There was a little bit of a problem right here. Basically what happened is, re so there was, remember that pillar that I had that was in the middle that was marking my uh, start point? Well, basically what happened is the agent got so low that it hit that, and then I uh, was able to completely go over here. Basically it hit here, and then when it turned around, it went around here, turned, and then went again. And then it kept doing this. Yeah, so it wasn't that good. I had water flowing everywhere. Not too fun. Um, but I fixed it just by destroying my little pill, or er, by destroying part of my little pillar. Um, uh, but then the TNT accidentally destroyed the rest. So, um, yeah. Um, and so if you would like to download this, the link is in the description. And I have another video on my channel explaining how to how to import these agent mods. And uh, be sure to s subscribe so th if you want to see more content like this and more edu Minecraft Education Edition uh, mods and hacks and stuff. Or not really hacks, I guess. But um, but yeah. So this per this is the perimeter builder. Um, I'm not quite sure. I don't remember if I know how to explain it. It's a, it's a, a day at, two days after, um, I recorded the first part. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, I forgot whether I, whether or not I d did that. But anyways, um, the way to activate it is run the code, um, and then do C, and then type perimeter and then the radius of the perimeter in this case it was 20 making a perimeter 40 by 40 because the radius from the center so basically it would be 20 blocks that way and 20 blocks that way which would be parallel to here um eh, using keyboard to move your mouse or to move your cursor is not that fun um and basically it made a square so that makes it 40 by 40 so keep that in mind and if you enjoyed today's video please like and subscribe for more content like this um let's see if we can hit um i don't know um maybe five likes yeah um yeah five likes that sounds reasonable um uh, so anyways guys um if you I, I'm just repeating myself. Oh my gosh. Um, so, um, I will see you guys in the next video.